Hi, I'm Michelle Trawick, Dean of the College of Business Administration. On behalf of the incredible faculty and staff of our college, congratulations, graduates. You did it. You've been looking forward to this day for many years. It's a moment to celebrate, a moment to cherish. It's a true milestone. And though the ways in which you're celebrating are unlike any we ever predicted, please know that your faculty, staff, and classmates in the College of Business Administration, we're celebrating with you. During this time of year, we are encouraged to thank those around us. So graduates, do me a favor. Thank your professors, your advisors, parents, grandparents, siblings, maybe a spouse, your partner, your kids. It's important to thank the people who've helped you achieve your goals. And for those of you who have made it to commencement without the support of others, I hope you're feeling a bit of extra pride today. Our college also wants to thank you, graduates. We want to thank you for spending the last several years with us. Whether you've been on campus or online, we are a better college because we've had you with us. Admittedly, the last few semesters have been difficult for all of us. But I want you to know that the way you've performed, the way you've progressed, it's exactly what I would have expected. For you to have gotten to this point during a pandemic, here's what I know about you. You're hard workers, you are innovative, you're nimble, you're resilient, you are achievers. I want you to remember all of those things about yourself. Everything you've learned and experienced over the entire time it took you to complete your degree here at UNO, those are the things that are going to help you achieve your next goal. Whether it's your first career job, your next big promotion, or maybe even graduate school, all of the things you've learned will help you. And as you work to progress and achieve those next goals, remember the faculty and staff in the College of Business Administration, we're watching because we can't wait to see what you accomplish next. It is my pleasure to introduce Paige Faber to speak on behalf of the College of Business Administration, Class of 2020. Paige, from Aurora, Nebraska, is the daughter of Stacy and Brett Faber. She has completed her business concentration in marketing along with a second major in Spanish. Members of the Board of Regents, Chancellor Gold, distinguished faculty, esteemed fellow graduates, and honored family, friends, and guests. Wow, we are finally at the end of what has been the longest, weirdest, and most tumultuous year. For example, who was terrified of their bathroom experiences because of the toilet paper scare? How many of you have regularly said, oh shoot, I forgot my mask? And does anyone else feel triggered when they see an email notification or hear the word Zoom? It feels like so much has happened in 2020, and at the same time, like nothing has. You make plans, cancel them, make new plans, then move them. And every time we do this, the excitement and significance of these events seem to diminish. They dwindle to the point that they almost seem unimportant and insignificant, that they're somehow not worth celebrating anymore. We cannot let today be one of those days. This is one of those monumental moments in your life that you envision when you're a kid and then once again when you're in high school. And let's be honest with ourselves, something that we think about every single day in college. So we cannot let this day pass as any other day that you'd simply check off on your calendar. 
We need to take the time to really make a day out of it and find the enjoyment in it. The best way to do this is through making the most out of your situation with your closest friends and family. One of my favorite holidays to celebrate and go absolutely all out for is Halloween. This year, Halloween wasn't going to look like a big party with tons of friends or going out or even greeting trick-or-treaters. But I couldn't let this holiday pass by. On Halloween night, my roommates and I got all dressed up as Scooby-Doo and the Mystery Gang and set up an entire photo studio using three lamps and propping up a phone on a table to capture the perfect group picture. After our photo session, we shared a fun Halloween-themed dinner, quickly changed into sweatpants to be freed from our uncomfortable costumes, and finished the night with board games. Even though Halloween wasn't what we hoped for or expected, we still found a way to make it special and turn it into a memory that we'll be able to look back on for years to come. Without a doubt, our graduation day is tremendously more significant than Halloween. So it's even more important that we make the most out of this historic event in our lives. And so I encourage you to hold a mini ceremony in your living room. Ask your roommate, friend, spouse, parent, or sibling to act as the dean and hand you your diploma. Create your very own acceptance speech and present it to your roommates or family members. Make that walk across your living room playing the iconic pomp and circumstance march. Take every cheesy picture you can with your cap and gown. And I know that Zoom is kind of the public enemy right now, but consider having a Zoom meeting or FaceTime with your friends and family that couldn't share this day with you and help you celebrate and make this day feel truly special. I know our graduation ceremony being held virtually isn't what we expected or hoped for and doesn't necessarily seem as special as sitting in Baxter Arena surrounded by our friends, family, and classmates. But not everyone has the opportunity to attend college or even finish it. And not everyone persevered through this global pandemic to complete their degree. So we are extremely fortunate to be sitting in our homes today receiving our diplomas that we have worked so tirelessly for amid such chaos. So don't let this day be any other day. Make this day the most memorable day to be a Maverick.